Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Ryan. Ryan is from England in the UK. So let's see what Ryan has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hello, Hello Ryan. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's fine, I was at the gym. Uh, <laughs> me, me too, actually, I went to the gym this morning, I just came back what? now. <laughs> oh, cool. Right, all right, just before we start the game, so tell me, um, where are you from? I'm from North Yorkshire, UK. Okay, and mm -hmm. what do you do for a living? Uh, I, I work in a fast food restaurant, I work in McDonald's. Oh, really? Oh my god, amazing. Actually, I, I worked as well in the past, McDonald's. I think yeah. when I was, yeah, when I was, before I left Brazil, I was, um, I think I was 19, 19, and it was my first job, actually. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's, uh, every, I remember when I was, um, it was uh, 19, I was, everyone was telling me, I think everyone who has um, a McDonald's experience in their CV, they can get a job anywhere, because it's so, like, hard to learn a lot over there. You yeah, know, you learn a lot. You know. Okay, right. Uh, just before we start the game, tell me something interesting about yourself. Um, I have arthritis in my knees, and I have done since I was nine years old. And uh, do you need to do, do some treatments or something to keep things well? How does medication. work? Medication. Medication. Oh, um, I see. Uh, injections, basically. Okay, but every day or. No, once a month. Once a month? Okay. Oh, interesting. Cool. Okay, Ryan. Welcome to William and the Magic Box. I have this one. A lovely box here full of random fun questions, okay? What are we going to do now? Let's gonna play a music just for us to get in the mood before the first question. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Right, let's go for the first question. Ready? Yeah, ready. First question is, um, what's the worst advice have you ever given? <laughs> to, be, to do something that you shouldn't do, really. <laughs> do you remember any um, one of them? Uh, yeah, it, it was, uh, I told my friend to basically start seeing another friend's ex-girlfriend <laughs> it happened to me as, uh, yeah carry on and it, it didn't work out so <laughs> it happened to me as well i remember we were going out um with friends of mine and i was like oh just go after i'm sure you're gonna be fine and it, oh, everything went was went wrong so yeah, yeah. great shall we go for another one yeah sure Wash it out. the next question um tell me something interesting where about where you live uh living in yorkshire it's to a lot of people it has been voted the most like beautiful place in england right a lot of people would disagree but i i, I agree with it i think it is it's a really nice place how far yorkshire is from london uh 200 odd miles so you took a good four hour drive four hour drives oh it's quite far yeah oh i see cool next question is um what's your best friend's name growing up and how why did you consider this person as your best friend at the time Oof. i've had a lot of friends growing up uh but my best friend would have to be a friend of mine called griff uh, I've known him for a good 13, going on 14 years. I, he's always been there for me. I've always been there for him. We've we've really looked out for each other growing up. So that's why I, I consider him my best friend. I was mean, still in touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We work together actually. Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh wow, that's amazing. What's his name again? Griff. Griff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ryan. Let's get another question. Let's do. It. Right, next question is, um, oh, it's a tough one. If you need to remove from your phone forever, 
social media, let's say Instagram or YouTube, which one that would be? Forever. So, which one? Social media. Why? Uh, I feel like nowadays too many people get involved in other people's personal lives through social media like Facebook and Snapchat, Instagram. And I'm quite a private person. I, I don't like people knowing my personal private information. So, so be easier for you then. Yeah, yeah. More, yeah. more of a life. I see. Cool. Okay, Ryan. Are you enjoying the show so far? Yeah, loving it. Yeah. Let's get to the yeah. question. Let's do it. Check your profile when I invited you for the show. I realized that you have uh, is your daughter or your niece or do you have a little girl? Uh, daughter, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. How old is she? She's four. Four years old? Yeah. Oh, my God, amazing. Oh, wow. Next question is um, tell us about your best holidays and why did you consider that? Mm. Uh, I think. My best holiday was when I went to Turkey. Uh, I love uh, the surroundings. Like, that the people there were nice, very friendly. And I, I just had a lot of fun. When was that? Ooh, a fair few years ago. Talking like 2015, I think it was. Okay. Never been to, I've never been to Turkey, actually. It's, a quite, it's a quite nice, isn't it? It's quite hot and uh, it's quite yeah. cheap as well. Very nice place, especially the Turkish baths. Oh, <laughs> you, you came back very relaxed, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get another question, Ryan. Yeah. Right, right. Um, what's your parents... Okay, sorry. What your parents did or do that comfort you the most? Well, obviously, obviously, they give me advice over the years about certain things, whether I listen to them or not. Um, but yeah, they, they just kind of left me to do my own thing. Yeah, I'm just, I think the same as well, the, the same way as well. I remember my mom and my dad as well. I remember they always, um, they raised me and my sister like, very free. They were like, okay, just make sure you don't hurt people, you know, look after yourself. So I always had this kind of uh, approach uh, since I was born, so yeah, that, I think they did all the, they give this um, trust, you know what I mean, they just push yeah. us to, yeah, that's what they did as well. Ryan, let's get another question. Yeah. You always had a long beard? No, uh, originally when I started growing it, it was very short, like, okay. kind of like uh, similar to yours. For example, uh -huh. it was very short, very trimmed, very neat. Right. Um, and then I, I've, uh, for, for the past year, I've uh, converted to being a Norse pagan. So like oh. Vikings, Scandinavian kind of people. And I've always, like, I've been interested in their, like, culture. Okay. And stuff. So that, I've started growing it out a bit more. Cool. Does it take time for you to kind of uh, like to maintain this way or not? It's easy. No, it's pretty easy to be fair. I've got a lot of <coughs> products to keep it all in check, like certain conditioner, wash, combs, things I like had, that. I had, a, I had a guest as well on the show um, a few months, like two months ago, and he's from Denmark and uh, he's one of the sponsors. He got as well like long beard and he was, he had some products as well that he was um, using. And he was telling me that uh, it's the same as as well. I've I've got products from a it's a, a company called the Beard Struggle. Oh, I see. I think I've seen one of your posts as well. Yeah. I see. Yeah. You are one of the how they say when you promote it. You are one of the ambassadors as well, ambassador. Yeah, I am. I see. I say cool. Right. Let's get another question for you. Yeah. Sure. Why do you most like about yourself? Um. I like the fact that I, I don't give up. Like when, when I've got my mind set for something, I'll, I'll stick it out until I feel like I've, I've completed it or 
Like, I like the fact that I'm stubborn as well. I'm very stubborn. <laughs> is that a positive thing or a negative thing? <laughs> it, it could be a bit, a bit of both, to be fair. Can go this way, yeah. I totally yeah. The, positive, the, the positive and negative part of it as well. I, I, yeah. I agree. I agree. Raya, let's get another question. the next question what's the most memorable lesson you learned from your daughter so far from my daughter uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> most memorable lesson I'd say it's just to be there you know because there's a lot of a lot of parents out there that don't bother with the children they don't have a, a that special bond with them mm -hmm. I, I even said before uh, we had it that I'll, I'll always be there for my child, no matter what. Amazing. Very proud dad. Amazing. <sighs> Next question is, what do you miss the most about your childhood and why? What, what do I miss the most? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh... Besides the worry, you know, when you're a child, you don't have worries at all, everything, it's easy. Yeah. I think that's probably it. I don't have to worry about stuff. But I don't, I don't have to manage everything around everything. I can just go do what I wanted as and when. I didn't actually have to plan to meet up with people or do certain things. Amazing. It's funny, one, um, one of the things that I miss uh, uh, the most, I remember being a child. Um, you know, when you expect your birthday, it took like so long to arrive to your birthday and even Christmas as well. Remember Christmas, it took so long to arrive. I was so like anxious about Christmas. Nowadays, like next day is already Christmas, like like every week. It goes yeah. so far. That's what I miss the most about being a child. No words at all, nothing. No. Let's do another question, Ryan. To tell your best friend Griff as well to participate in the show after the experience, you should tell him. You should uh, be part of the yeah. show as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Next question is: What's the strangest gift have you ever received? <laughs> or the funniest? It was. Uh, <clears throat> it was actually from my daughter's mother. It was. Uh, it was like a rubber stretchable pickle. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Like you know, you can get them. Uh, it's it's like a rubber stretchy toy. It's got some like um, some like small sticky beads on the inside of them, like a gel. Uh huh. And like you can stretch them out, and if you throw it at a window, or something it'll just stick to it. Oh, I see. I see what it means. It's very mm. strange. <laughs> Ryan, I have three questions left for you. Let's do it. Okay. Next question is, um, what do you think are the best traits for a person to have? Honesty. Uh, I'm, I'm a big believer in people being honest. Uh -huh. like there's, I, I, there's no need to hide things. Um, so honesty is one of them. Um, being able to trust people, like you need, need to be trustworthy. Because like, if, if you mention something to them that you don't want them to tell other people, then you know you, you don't want that kind of stuff being blasted everywhere. Do you have um, do you have brother and sister as well? I have a brother. Older, or younger than you? Uh, older. Older. Great. Yeah. In, he lives Yorkshire as well? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, yeah. He lives with me currently. He's, he's currently moving out to move in with his girlfriend. I see. Okay, Ryan. Two questions left. Let's yep. do it. So, what was your favorite thing to do as a kid? Uh, I, I like to climb trees. <laughs> I really like to climb things. That, that's did, probably the favourite thing. Did you ever did you ever get hurt or did you fall? Uh, a couple of times, but never got hurt. 
I did, I did once. When I was um, in Brazil, I used to play, um, you put like this piece of wood, uh, like on the top of something, and you are jumping around. Like one person jumped here, and I was going up, you know, like jumping yeah. like that. And you're holding the tree, and you're holding the tree like that. And well, I was like, I was 11 years old. And uh, so my turn, when I went up there, like after a few times, and I tried to hold it, but my hands couldn't uh, couldn't hold the tree, and I fall mm. on my arm. And I mm. it was the only time I broke, and it was like I broke my wrist, and actually my hand could come all the way down here. <laughs> like it was so bad. But yeah, I remember. Um, and I didn't feel anything because, you know, your blood is still kind of warm, you know? And I just, I remember my friend look at, oh, look at your hands. When I look at my hand, I'm like, I almost passed out when I look at my hand because I was like, kind of moving around. And uh, yeah, but I liked as well. I think Brazil. Um, I mean, I think I've tried. I think in the eighties, the nineties, we always had this, you know, this kind of um, experience because there is no technology at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's add another question, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Um, are you a cat or a dog person? And if you could be an animal, which one would be and why? Oh, I'm, I'm a huge dog person. I love dogs. Right. Huskies, uh, Japanese Akitas, Shih Tzus, you know, the big fluffy dogs. Oh. <laughs> I, lo I love big fluffy dogs. Do you have any? Uh, I did. Uh, growing up, I had a, a dog called Diesel. It was um, a black collie crossed with a Labrador. Right. Um, and... Then, I think I were about 11, maybe, we got another Labrador called Fudge. Uh-huh. Mm, she, unfortunately, like, she got put down uh, last year. Ooh. How old was she? How old was she at the time? Uh, going on at 12, 13. Oh, okay. But because, mm -hmm. because of age or she was sick or? What well, yeah, because of age, really? old age. I'll tell something. The last time, actually, I'm I'm both a dog or cat person. But uh, I remember um, the only the only time I had a dog, like I was 13 years old, um, and never had any more because I had a trauma. I had this little little fluff dog, like was it was white. I don't remember what his breed at the time, but um, anyway, he was very fluffy, very friendly. Bob, his name. And then when I used to live in Brazil, there were the main gates. There's some like uh, the gate. He couldn't uh, run away, but. People was passing the streets and they can, could kind of play with him. Anyway, yeah. so every morning when I was waking up, I was like, oh, Bobby, Bobby, and he was coming all the way and kind of this fluffy white thing, like, it was so cute. And I remember that day on Sunday, I remember this Sunday, I wake up, I was like, Bobby, Bobby, and he didn't come. I was like, oh my God, so I, I was looking for it and he did. Can you imagine someone stole him for the really? night? Oh my God, I remember that day. I remember look like walk, like walk, like the whole, it was a small town. I was mm. literally knocking every door like I could go because uh, I, my God, I was devastated. Even I couldn't eat for a week. And I remember my mom, she was very worried about me because I never forget, my God, I and had this trauma after that. I never had the dog anymore because I was so mm. like sad, you know, can you imagine how, and um, yeah, but um, yeah, but I had cats after. My mom had cats as well, but um, yeah, it was the only time I had a dog I couldn't have anymore because it was so painful. And um, and if it could be an animal, which one would be, and why? Hmm. I don't know what I'd, I'd like to be, like a chimpanzee or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Break off the yeah, trees, big climbing trees. <laughs> yeah, climbing trees, obviously. Like they're very smart animals, the chimpanzees. They are. Totally. Yeah. Mm, uh, at times they can be quite aggressive. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I've got the last question for you now, okay? Let's do it. Do it. The last one? Yep. Let's do it. Um, tell us about your guilt pleasure. Hmm. I'd, I don't really know if it's a guilty pleasure because a lot of people know this, but I'm a huge food lover. Oh, welcome to the team. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely, I'm a huge food lover. Like you, you can stock up a fridge full of two weeks worth of food, and within a day it'll be gone. <laughs> Are you most a, a sweet person or a savory? A bit of both. Yeah. A bit of both. And do you like yeah, cooking? Yeah. 
Uh, well, I'm I'm not a very good cook myself, but no, I, I, I will cook I, uh -huh. when I need to. <laughs> I remember also working um, at New York Hospitality for a few years in hotels, different hotels, and I remember I had two situations. The head chef came up to me, he was like, William, I don't know, I'll just tell you something. All the time when I see you, I see you eating something and I don't know where this food goes because you are always eating. He made me laugh because after two years I went to another hotel and the head chef said the exact the same thing. <laughs> like about it, always I always had something in my hand eating. I love my food as well. I've been told that uh, I've been, I, I, the other day I was at work and um, I was telling my colleague about, talk about food and I was like, oh, I feel so, I'm so greedy, I'm so greedy. And he told William, don't say you are greedy, say that you like your food. Sounds yeah. sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> when you say greed is a, is a negative way of saying um, you love your food. Yeah. Brian, it's not the end yet, okay? So what am I going to do now? Let's play the quick thinking game. I'm going to give away some words and you just tell me one thing that comes to your mind, okay? Okay. Cool, let's start with life. Yeah. Love. Romance. Money. Luxury. Family? Class. Politics. Bad. Sex? Mm. Greed. Okay. Religion. Faith. Fear? None. Okay. Desire. Need it. Regrets? None. Great. Uh, royal family? Mm. German. Okay. The last one, Yorkshire. Beautiful. Amazing, amazing. Right, let's pretend now I'm going to uh, have a coffee with your best friend, Griff, and I'm mm. going to ask your, uh, your best friend. Um, Tell me something very positive that you admire the most about um, about yourself, and tell my boss Ryan. And tell me something that uh, Ryan needs to improve on. What do you think your best friends will tell me? That I'm um, loyal and funny. Uh, yeah. And the negative. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loyal and funny. And the negative, probably, I'm. I need, I'm really bad at communicating. Always been? <laughs> yeah. Very You're much. the one who never never reply message, never return phone calls. Uh no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, let's play now Ryan in the magic box and you can ask me a question, okay? But okay, Ryan, you can ask me a question now. Um for the time that you have been in the UK, okay. what do you like about it the most? Very good question. Very good question. <laughs> I love, uh, by the way, I love London. I love England. I think in uh, past life I was British because I feel so, you know, I feel like my place is here. I feel like London's home. Um, right. So I think uh, what I've learned is um, actually, I'm going to say something. It's very, it's something very, very simple, but uh, funny as well. But I've learned, uh, one of the first things I've learned is um, to be on time, to arrive on time. I think that's something that I actually I'm very yeah yeah this is the, the the most like the first lesson I learned when I arrived in England because uh, you know the British time is very famous you know it's very well known to be on time but actually when I was I was 24 when I arrived in London and I didn't I don't know sure if I if I heard that before but with experience I you know my daily basis I realized that. And I remember because Brazilian people have, we are well known for being late, you know, for all the to get on time. And I remember my first job in London was, I was working in an Italian restaurant and my manager, she was, actually she was um, Spanish. And I arrived late, like 15 minutes, 10 minutes late. And she was like, William, and I forget that, she said, William, uh, here in London, England, you need to arrive on time. I know Brazilian people, they're always late. And from that day, I learned. And uh, remember, all, nowadays, actually, people, they know me. When I go to work, I always arrive one hour earlier. You know, I always yeah. arrive very early. And I learned that. I think it's a very, yeah, it's a very good answer. I learned that in being in the UK to arrive on time. And that, funny enough, I was watching, I think, a documentary or even like an interview. I don't remember now. But I uh, was reading somewhere. They said that when I arrive at work or have a meeting 15 minutes earlier, you are already late. 
suppose they say that say if you arrive uh, 15 minutes there are always some things gonna come up you know you're gonna some things gonna delay or you're gonna put your coat or you're gonna get some things not something not gonna be ready and you're gonna be like rushing that's 15 minutes do you know what i mean and it, it for me it works well i think when you arrive like half an hour earlier or something like that you always have time you put your head there do you know what i mean you get ready for not for work but anything you're gonna do so as your question yes one of the things i learned in england besides you know a lot of things i think england is a you'll say about people they're friendly and um I think London, I think people as well in England, they realize that people, they are very direct, straightforward, you know, they don't have half term. If they like you, they're going to tell you like you. If they say you're right or wrong, they're going to tell you this is right or this is wrong. There's no like half term, you know, that's one of the things as well. Right? But beyond time, it's something that's occurred with me forever. Yeah. That's what something I got from, from England, being in the UK. Yeah. Good answer? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, it was a pleasure to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Cool, cool. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for being so sweet and accept my invitation. I know sometimes mm -hmm. when I approach people online, they go like, oh my God, what's that? What's going on? And you are very kind, very sweet, and um, you accept my invitation. But before you go, I would like you to share a positive message, a positive quote, anything that um, inspires you in life. Uh, keep like pushing yourself to be better. I'll always try and uh, be a better person than what you think you are. Mm -hmm. no. Great. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. It was a pleasure, Ryan. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having well, me. Thanks so much. All the best and I'll keep in touch. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, to share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website www.williamandthemagicbox.com and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show and I see you there. Bye bye, see you next time.